I'm pretty sure you think you know how to use auto tune, but here are five things I will show you auto tune can do that you did not know before. If you knew, you know how to do it. Subscribe button down below, and let's get started. All right, so this first feature is for people who do not have powerful PCs. All right, so if you are using a mid or low budget PC, you know with auto tune you can use the low latency feature, which will make FL Studio use less resources. So all you have to do is click this settings icon right here. When you come down here, you can see use low latency mode. All right, so now when you do that, it's going to use less resources while processing and while activating the mix. But when you are rendering or exporting your session, it's going to export it in high quality mode, all right? So, but it's just to save PC resources. So the next feature in auto-tune that I really like that most people overlook, I'm not even aware that it exists, is the formants knob. You can see it right here. So what is it? It can change the way vocal sound if you want a baby pitch voice or if you want a dark, scary voice. You can easily do that in auto-tune in real time. So if I play the vocal, this is it in zero, all right? When I play it, in my mind, oh. And now when I take it all the way up, this is going to sound. And then when I take it down, this is how it sounds. Alright, you can play with that. So I'm going to just take it back, all right? And you can even play with the transposer. So if you want, maybe you have a, a sample in here, trying to transpose the sample, you can use that as well. So let's see how it sounds when I transpose it by five semitones. Isn't that cool? You can actually automate this, especially the um, format knob, you can automate this in your mix. So you can use the format knob creatively while mixing. If maybe you want some parts of the vocals to have that dark voice. So if you want it to have that baby pitch voice, you can do that. And that takes us to the third tip, which is resetting a button. Now, when you do this, most times you want to just drag it back to maybe the original number. And some numbers are, ki are kind of confusing. They're not exactly in zero or one like some others, right? So you may forget where the original number is and it's messing up your auto-tune settings. So you have to just press alternate and double click. Or you can just double click all right so in some versions you have to press alternate but in recent versions like one i have you can just double click this that is left double click and it's going to reset so you can see when i do this it's going to reset to the original um settings for that button all right so this can help save a lot of time instead of trying to adjust the um, button to the original state so tip number four is this tracking knob right here which a lot of people do not even know what it does now the thing with the tracking knob is that it helps auto tune be more accurate when tuning or picking up the vocal for it to tune all right so when you record your vocals in a very quiet dead space it's going to be much more accurate but unfortunately a lot of project studios do have ambient noise maybe neighbors outside noise or whatever right some noise may come into the microphone into the recording space so it may not be that clean so if your vocal is not all that's clean you can reduce this okay so it can be more accurate even though you have some noise in the vocal all right but if your vocals are really clean you record it in a proper space with little to no noise you can even increase it to up to let's say 20 or 15 or even 10. this will make it so much more accurate when tuning your vocals all right so the tip number five which a lot of people do shy away from is the graph mode now this graph mode can be very helpful in pitch correcting your vocals all right or pitch shifting your vocals because the difference between pitch shifting and pitch correction when it's just here and it's in auto it's basically doing pitch correction but pitch shifting is when you change the pitch of the vocal and it's really easy to use all you have to do is just change to the graph mode right here then click pitch and you can if you want to change the timing as well you can change the timing but most times I only want to change the pitch, so I'm just going to click only pitch, so it brings out the notes that makes up the vocal, all right? Then all I have to do is just press play, and it's going to start tracking automatically, all right? So when I press play, Now you can see this information right here so for us to actually use this information to maybe pitch shift or correct some notes that are out of key you just simply come right here where it says make notes you click make notes then you see make click the first option make notes all right and you can increase the number of notes that you would like the number of notes it makes it more detailed all right but let's just you can always change it at any time it's not 
static, okay? You can let us use that, let's say, 67 for now, all right? And then the routine speed is the overall tuning. If you observe, you can see how much more tuning is going on here. You can zoom in as well by clicking this plus icon, all right? And you can make auto-tune bigger as well so you can see this better. And the good thing with this is that it snaps to the key of the project, right? So remember, we already did this in key C major, so you can always... So whenever you move it, all right, whenever you move, it's going to take it to the next key. You can see D is a key. So D is a key in the C major scale, all right? When I take it, you can see. So if you don't want that to happen, you can just change it to chromatic, okay? So you can move this more freely. Because maybe sometimes like, you maybe you want to hit a note that is not in that scale for whatever reason, all right? So I'm going to just come back here and just click major, all right? So you can see now. So now you can adjust. You can adjust the So let's see and see the change. You can see that change right there, right? So if I come right here, all right. So now you can see the change when I play. This is the original. When I bring it down. And I play it. And I can change this as well. Let's hear it again. And I can keep messing around with it. And it's and it's so easy to use because it snaps to the key. So you don't have to think of the key on like some other pitch correction plugins that, that does that. It snaps to the key, the skill. So well, you know, do you prefer this or do you prefer the original? So, so you can go for that and we increase the notes if you feel like maybe you need more detailing, all right? So you can see if I take it further, you can see the notes reducing or detailing, all right? So it depends on what you're trying to do, all right? And you can increase the return speed, that is the actual tuning effects, all right? And you can even make curves if you feel like it's not accurate enough. You can click make curves and you can draw in a curve, all right? So I just get to just come right here and just come back to make notes, all right? So it's a really powerful program to use for um, making your vocal sit well in key of a beat. So if you find this helpful, don't forget to leave me with a thumbs up so other people that need helpful videos like this can easily find it right here on YouTube. I remain Sir Classy. See you soon. Cheers.